up. As long as I hold her, she feels safe. So you're just squeezing it into her ear. Yep. Oh. This one's a new tube, so it was way easier. Usually it's way harder to squeeze out of there. You can go ahead and try my ear if you want to. Okay, no, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> you were going to do it. You were going to actually do it, weren't you? Hold on, love. Hold you on. That's only one, baby. Sweetie, it's only one. Aww. Oh, she's like, Daddy, hold me. Bad? Take me out of here, Daddy. There's a good one. No, no, just... Is that one okay? Yeah. Okay. Everybody says, Wow, Stella, you look great. You look amazing, Stella. But he's like, Whoa, did. Have you and I ever met? Could I get your number? Could I possibly get your number? Uh, Stella's like, get off me. Look at the hair on her back stands up. He goes, you are a really pretty girl. And uh, the last girl I remember who looked like you had a baboon hiney. And your hiney's not a baboon hiney. No, ma'am, you have pretty hair. how pretty she is. Look at this pretty girl of ours. Oh, not me. You too. She only wants to chase kitties though. Come on, baby, we're not chasing kitties. We're going to the truck. We're gonna go in the truck. All right, so Stella and I are here at our vet's office and today they are going to have to unpack her ears. Whatever that means, I don't know. But uh, she's had an ear infection, and so last week they packed her ear, ears, and today they're going to unpack it. And then supposedly, if they just leave it in the truck, they'll come right out of the truck and do it. I don't gotta go in, I don't gotta check in. They're gonna walk out when I pull up and come out and unpack her ears. So we'll see what that looks like, and uh, I'll try to video if I can, so y'all stay with me. Sweet Stella wants to get out of the truck. She feels like she's being cluttered. Um, that's not actually clutter. I have a couple of packages for me to open. We also have my bag and Lex's bag. My son Lex, we had our hotel night last night. Baby, you wanna get down? I don't think I should let you down, but fine, I can. You wanna get down, I'll let you. All right, there she's down. Uh, I don't want anyone to see my truck anyway. So wanna walk inside with me? How you doing, Tammy? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Hi. Stella Hi. Hi. is excited about getting her ears unpacked, whatever that means. What do you get? What are they gonna do? They're actually gonna pack them more. Oh, they're gonna pack them more. Yeah. Well, that's not exciting. I know. You want I don't me? To... Know why she's running away? No wonder. Uh, yeah. So you want her back in the truck, or can she get down? Because she wanted to get down. She, yeah, she can get down. Either whatever is fine for her. Okay. What are you gonna do with all that stuff? Um, we're gonna put. Let me check. I think she just has the same amount in both. Okay. Um, pack them. So when you say pack them, you just like just shoot a bunch of stuff yeah, inside of them. Yeah, pretty much like. So one for each ear? Uh, no, not the whole thing. I just brought just in case. It's oh, okay. Enough, so. Yeah, it's kind of sucks because it's like putting Vaseline in your ear. So. How, how would you know that? Uh, just the texture. I feel, I mean, I'm assuming. I don't know. I'm not trying to embarrass you, but could I try a little bit on you and see how it feels? Uh, can try it on you. No, <laughs> we ain't doing that. Yeah. We're not gonna do that. We'll we'll just use Stella as our as our guinea pig here. All right. So Stella yeah. doesn't like her ears to be played with. I'm just letting I you know. know. You want me to hold her right here? Yeah, that should help. All I'm right. Trying to do it fast. It's just hard to push in. Okay. There. So I me, know. I gotta hold you, baby. I know you don't like it so much. All right, I'll push her up against my leg here. Okay. Let me. What do you want me to? I don't. I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> it's I'm okay. Just to get to the tip. I'll try not Sweetie, to touch them, girl. I know. Yeah, she's always had a hard time with me messing I with her ears. It was easier because she was sedated when they did it. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm it. certain that she was. Um, so how about I hold her in my lap? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah, as long as I hold her, she feels safe. So you're just squeezing it into her ear. This one's a new tube, so it was way easier. Usually, it's way harder to squeeze out of there. You can go ahead and try my ear if you want to. Okay, no, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> you were gonna do it. You were gonna actually do it, weren't you? Hold on, love. Hold you on. That's see only how one, it feels baby. For Stella. Sweetie, it's only one. Aww. Oh, she's like, Daddy, hold that me. Bad. Take me out of here, Daddy. There's a good amount. That one, I'll just Is that one okay? Yeah. Okay. I 
Get a good drop, baby. You need a hug to feel better. Okay, maybe I can go. All right, around. one more, sweetie. One more. Let me try not to get it in yours. Or my mouth. It's not my <laughs> mouth. This is so awkward. <laughs> have you ever been in a situation where you have a person holding their dog so close because she's so scared and you no, have to work on them? Really. Is she all done? All, all right now here's my question so when will that come out on its own or do we got to bring her back again at some yeah. point um so it's pretty much evolved <laughs> on its own okay uh, well, well, you did it baby to see if she would want more just depending on how bad hers are well i'll be sitting here holding her then yeah <laughs> so isn't that crazy how she's completely content to be in my arms i'm just sitting here on the bench holding my holding my sweet girl why she had to get her ears packed again now they told me they're gonna unpack her ears and uh, so to have them repacked I guess they I don't I don't know why but uh, she had the vets orders so it is what it is I don't ask a lot of questions because I forget everything anyway but uh wasn't it crazy how she's completely content as long as I'm holding her she's fine like completely fine sweetie but uh if i when she was on the ground she didn't want to have me mess with at all and then uh that means something to me it means a lot really to know that they find comfort and security with you it's kind of like a baby going to mama they can be upset with whoever crying i want my mama you know whatever and you give them mom and all of a sudden everything is fine she wants her daddy though she loves her daddy. She's always bonded. She's always had a close thing with me. A lot closer with me than she has with Jamie. I don't know why. Maybe because it took me a whole week to catch her. It did took a long time to trap this little girl. And she's been pretty happy ever since. I love her. So what's the word? So she said in a week she'll like you to bring her back to do the, um, any infection in her ear still. So they're going to dig that stuff out and test it under a microscope? Yeah. In a week? Yes. And okay. then um, if her ears are all good and there's no more infection in there, then she should be all set. Okay. Now how does all that stuff come out of there? Do you have to come dig it out or will it fall out? No, so the actual medication is just... Um, oh, okay. So we'll put it on the floor. So yeah, we'll just test if she has any debris. Okay. Exactly. We can look at it under the She's comfortable right there. I know. Can you open my truck door for me? Yeah. Before you open that door, just know that this is the work truck and it's loaded with junk. This is not the, the, the okay. clean truck. Don't even look at my car. Oh, where's, which one is yours? We gotta go look. We're gonna go look at oh, it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Just open the back seat and I'll okay. put her in. Sweetie, I'm sorry. Now she won't look at me. She goes, I trusted you, Daddy. I trust you to keep me safe. I did keep you safe. I held you the whole time. All you can do is hold them. I mean, what can you do? You can't take the ear pack and farm them. I couldn't take it in the ear, baby. But uh, so next week we're back, same time, same place, next Friday. Lots and lots of vet visits here. Everybody is so excited to see Stella. Stella is not very excited to see you all. Come on, sweetie. These are your friends, baby, come on. Come on out, sweetie. You wanna stay in the truck? It's hot, baby. It's not really hot, guys, it's 76 degrees, but it is sunny. Come on, love. I her ears have just gotten packed, so she probably can't hear a word I'm saying. Come out of the truck, jump down, jump, jump down. Come visit your friends. That probably makes no sense to her at all. Let me just carry her. Come on, sweetie. There you go. That's a good girl. Good girl. All right, that's better. Now she's down. Don't be sweet to Stella. She just got her ears packed. She can't hear a word you're saying. She doesn't know a thing y'all are saying. Can you, sweetie? Come on, love. Come on, sweetie. We'll let her smell around a little bit. Wow. 
Look how different that looks over there. <laughs> Look how different that looks without Brianne's house being there. Well, I bring Stella over for a visit and all of a sudden everyone freaks out. Stella, how come they're all so upset with you, baby? Y'all know that she looks a whole lot prettier than she did last time she was here. And y'all have no reason to be mean to her. Come on, Stella. It's okay, so we don't want to hurt your feelings. Y'all be nice to her. Don't make all those weird noises. Please. All right, we're leaving the farm in good hands. Both Ellie and Ben are here doing all the afternoon chores. Me and Stella are going to head back over to... Over to... Longhorn Lester's and I'm just gonna swing by here and show you how different everything looks with uh, Brianne's house being gone. So I'll be honest, okay? <laughs> this is gonna sound horrible, but from my house, if this house were not here and none of this was here, it would make the hill look a lot bigger. Seriously, it would. If this house was not in this particular location, what happened is whenever Brienne and what well, was Jake first put his house here, it sort of closed off this area here and put my place back behind them. And so if they did not have a house here, it would make Morrow Hill look a whole lot bigger because it would, it would literally extend from mom and dad's house all the way back over to my place over there. But by having that house where it's at, it kind of cuts the hill in half. That probably makes no sense to y'all whatsoever, does it? Anywho, it was a good visit. Everything's fine. I'm gonna seat belt up and get out of here. We'll see y'all in the next video. Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.